I know that Corona is still here, but you still don't need to fear because Jesus isn't there. <laughs> That's my cheesy, not quite rhyme for you today. But Jesus isn't in the tomb and that's why we don't have to be afraid. And you can trust me because I actually checked. Just before this past Easter, I had the incredible blessing of being in Israel. And one of the crazy things about being in Israel during the whole coronavirus is that no one else was in Israel. <laughs> there are obviously billions of Christians on planet Earth. And many, many of them like to travel to Israel to see the spots where Jesus was born, where he walked on water, where he died on the cross, where he was risen from the dead. So sometimes in Israel, the tour buses stack up one after another and the people stand in line just for a few seconds at some sacred spot. But this time, uh, this time it was different. And that kind of worked out for me. <laughs> I actually got to go to the two places where scholars speculate that Jesus might have been buried. The Garden Tomb and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Now, normally at both places you have to wait in line. You have just your few seconds that you try to make very spiritual, but then you get rushed out so the next person can come in. But this time I got to look around. I got to linger. I got to investigate. We actually had a whole hour and a half of private time to film an Easter message at the garden tomb. So I got to look inside with no one rushing me and the clock not ticking. And Jesus wasn't there. Later that same day, we went to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the, the place where I think it happened. And I just couldn't believe how empty it was. There were no lines. I got to look around and see and search. And guess what I found? No Jesus. And obviously, that's not the only proof for the resurrection of Jesus Christ, but it reminded me why Easter is so good. Because we don't just have a Jesus who sacrificially died for our sins. We have a Jesus who rose from the dead so that he could be with us. I think of Matthew chapter 28. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you're looking for Jesus who is crucified. He's not here. He has risen just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. To take away the fear, the angel said to the women, come and see the spot. He's not here because the Jesus you love, the Jesus who was crucified because he loved you, he, he's not here. He's alive. Friends, that's such good news. You don't just have the forgiveness of sins. In the middle of the coronavirus, you have a God who is with you. A God who knows you, a God who is at your side. You might feel kind of lonely as a widow, a single person, self-isolation, in your nursing home, in your apartment, but you're actually not alone. Glorious Jesus, risen from the dead, has promised, I will be with you always to the very end of the age. Or maybe you're not alone. Maybe you wish you were. <laughs> Maybe your significant other is getting on your nerves. Maybe the kids are driving you nuts and you just don't feel like you can. You're afraid you're going to snap. But if Jesus is alive, he's with you too. When you duck off into the bathroom because you just need a little bit of quiet space, you, you pray to him and he's not far away. He's there. Or when you go out to the driveway for some fresh air, it's Jesus who is present with you in that place. The Jesus who can send his spirit to give you strength to love those people even when they don't deserve it. And so what the angel said is so true. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid that you can't. Jesus is alive, so you can. He's risen and I saw the place where he isn't. So don't be afraid, even if Corona is here, because Jesus, your Savior, is not there. He's right there with you. Let's pray. Uh, dear Holy Spirit, we need your help. Give us the eyes of faith that we could see that there is a Jesus who can do anything and he is with us everywhere. Help us to see him, to envision him, to, to picture him so that whatever we're facing today, it seems so small by comparison. We know that you can and we know that you want to. So hallowed be the name of Jesus today. 
May your will be done in our hearts. I ask this because of him. Amen. Is there someone that you know that could use an antidote to their fear? I would love for you to tag them, let them know that God is here, God is with them, and God is love. Let's help each other overcome our fear and stand strong in our faith. Thanks and have an amazing day. If these messages are a blessing to you and your faith and you want more, we'd love to make it easy for you. You can just click this button right here to get connection to a YouTube subscription. Or if you want these devotions right into your inbox, you can click right here. YouTube here, email here. Email here, YouTube there. Click both these buttons. We'll give you as much of Jesus as we can because we know that Jesus is all that we need.